things that you absolutely must not get wrong on your wedding day. And your groom's name is one of them. Princess Diana did just that. She got Charles's name wrong. Well, she didn't exactly pull a Ross. Take thee, Rachel. Emily. But she missed a couple of his middle names. Talk about hashtag royal props. For the record, Prince Charles's full name and title is His Royal Highness Prince Charles Philip Arthur George, Prince of Wales. <laughs> and great steward of Scotland. Can't say we blame Di. The marriage of King George IV and Princess Caroline of Brunswick has been called one of the worst royal relationships of all time. And that's saying something. Wow. At their ill-fated wedding, the miserable George got so drunk that he had to be propped up at the ceremony. And this was after he arrived late, stumbled up to the altar and refused to say his vows. There's even a rumour that the distraught future king broke down in tears when no one objected to the marriage. Yikes. But George wasn't the only person in need of some support. His bride, Princess Caroline's dress was so heavy, she couldn't stand up in it. It's the happening. dress, made of silver tissue, lace, velvet and a hefty ermine robe, proved to be so unwieldy the bride could not even walk down the aisle. But the real question is, is that dress blue and black or cream and gold? Even royals aren't immune to a last-second wedding crisis. Case in point, Queen Elizabeth's tiara was broken by her hairstylist just hours before the ceremony. The tiara, which was originally made in 1919 for Queen Mary, was rushed to be repaired and made it onto Elizabeth's head minutes before the ceremony. All eyes were on Prince William and Kate Middleton during their 2011 nuptials. And with 750 million people watching, no one missed one detail. Kate's ring didn't fit. No, the Duchess's hands didn't grow overnight. Rather, she was worried about the ring falling off and had it sized yeah. down before the ceremony. It's definitely not going anywhere now. Or ever.